For the installation, uh, just uh, follow the screen. Select Apple Mac OS, Mac OS 10.12. Rename according to yourself. You can just name anything. Uh, then uh, at least give a uh, 100 to 160 GB. Just uh, just confirm your hardware. and press customize and uh, if you have around 16 GB of RAM assign 8 GB or else 4 GB if you have a multi core processor at least give 2 cores and please check the word the first option and the second option and here add the downloaded IOS image of the Mac OS all the links are provided in the description as you see uh, I have just attached the file and select USB 2.0 and press OK ok just check all the and finish now after doing that don't run the machine close the virtual box or the VMware head over to the download folder of the documents virtual box Mac OS and edit this file open it with the notepad and just add the lines provided in the downloaded uh, files uh, the files are different for Intel and AMD users so add according to your processor and turn and change the value from 10 to uh, from 16 to 10 and uh, options and in the Mac OS select it as Microsoft Windows or else your Mac OS would be stuck on the Apple logo and now run the VMware again click on edit and now run the machine If you want you can download the VM tools or anyways we are gonna install it later at the later part of the video so this, uh, this process is a bit time consuming so it depends on your system it would take 15 to 20 minutes here I have just far forwarded the loading time to, to make the video as short as possible Now do the initial setup, set your language. Now in the utility, just go to to the disk utility and erase your uh, this thing uh, if you're using a laptop your keyboard would wa not work over here so you can leave it as untitled over here and create a new disk as you can see i just created an untitled untitled disk on the on in which the mac os would be installed so i'll just click on install mac os and do the initial steps as prompted on the screen uh, on my case the process is a bit slow as my system is a bit slow uh, it would vary on your system how fast your system can perform the faster it will get installed I have just skipped the step of the installation here just uh, don't do anything and just power off your virtual machine
go back to VMware then on delete virtual machine and change it to Apple Mac OS press ok 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 press ok again ok and again ok then uh, start the virtual machine and if you are still if it gets stuck on the apple logo just restart your machine it would be fixed Now select your country, in my case it's India, so India, your keyboard settings and your spoken languages, continue, continue, you can set up your Apple ID or else you can skip, skip the setup, so you can just click on the setup later button over there in the top, just skip, agree the terms and conditions. agree just add a name to your computer and a password and click on continue 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 and after the setup process you would be on the home screen uh, so don't worry if your screen is not full screen after installing the VM tools uh, you'll get your full screen and uh, the Mac doesn't have any Wi-Fi support so you need to use an adapter or a, either or a wired connection now follow the steps uh, just add the other uh, image the Darwin.iso image and click on OK don't skip any steps guys the video has been made very clear now click on VMware tools and install it this is really important or else you wouldn't get full screen click on install VMware tools as I said my system is a bit slow so all the process will be a bit slow just click on continue continue installation and, and it would prompt you for some security and preferences just add your password I'm sorry.